Okay, thank you, Erin, for videotaping videotaping this on your phone. So this is some health checks. Erin's helping me out with health checks with these St. Clemente goats. And this is Miller Park Zoo um, Natasha. And I have, I put everything down here first and I write write things down that I'm doing and then I transfer it to like my computer on my Kintrax program. So I'm writing down Natasha's name. And all I'm doing today is uh, giving them copper boluses, vitamin E and selenium and uh, trimming their hooves and checking their eyes for uh, uh, matcha. And I already did check Natasha's eyes, but I can show people how I do this awkwardly. And she is, um, we can just kind of peel them back like this. And you can see she's a tad on the pale side, but I'm not even worried about this. I would call this a four out of five and five being good. Um, and then she likes chin scratches. Some people like to feed grain to keep them calm while they're on the stanchion and I don't do that um, because I'm going to be giving the copper and the vitamin E and I just don't want so much like stuff going down in their throats. Um, I recently bought a copper bolus machine, not machine, a gun, which sounds even worse. And you can get like really cheap plastic versions of this, but I finally decided to buy a nice one it's like 30 bucks and this allows me to get you're gonna put it down into their throat and along the side and then this trigger pushes the bolus down their throat um and so i'm gonna do that right now and sometimes they're fussy about it you gotta kind of get in here on the side and uh <laughs> we're gonna have a fussy <sighs> and that's it and um, I keep an eye on them because sometimes I try to push the bolus back up, but she seems fine. You want to be careful when you're putting your fingers in their mouths because they will absolutely bite your fingers with their molars and that sucks. And so this is the selenium and I found, uh, Aaron found that this is dry, even though this is a new, new tube of it. So I'm actually just going to push them out. And there's like dosage rings on here. So you can like, you know, each goat gets like a notch worth of this. <laughs> this is so weird that it's dry, whatever. Farming is rolling with it. So I'm gonna do the scary thing a little bit, but it's, it's a piece, so I'm just gonna stick it back here and it's gonna go into their mouths and it's bright orange and it's gonna be fine. I have yet to, you can get like the shots for this and it, it'll be a lot easier, but I just have never done it. So then next is trimming hooves and um, you can see the last time that I trimmed hooves was at end of October and you can see over here like the amount of growth that I get in that time frame um, and I like to like stay on top of this and not let it get grown in even more. You can see um, once you get the gunk out of the walls you can see how much growth happened. I don't want the hoof to like get really hard and folded over on the bottom. It's not good for the goat and it's not good for me to trim. And um, so you can just trim it back. And the soft pad back here, you should trim back and make it even as well. So they have a flat, flat hoof. <clears throat> and Aaron and I were just talking about like how aggressively we might trim hooves. Like this is about the extent that I'm gonna do. So it's nothing nothing too crazy you can see right here like that uh wall i guess the hoof and you don't want to get too close to this too because you're gonna you're gonna hit it and it's gonna bleed and it bleeds really easy down here so having a blood stop spray or powder with you will be important um and having good hoof clippers is really important. I think I paid 30 bucks for these maybe. And I went through so many pairs of like $5 ones or $10 ones that are the orange handled ones and they just broke all the time. Um, I'm just gonna make that a little more flush. And that's about it. So I'm gonna do all those hooves and everything else looks really good on her. Um, I'm cho like I'm pretty sure she's pregnant, but I'm choosing not to do any pregnancy tests today. Um, 
but I'm really happy it, the condition that she's in right now. She's probably due sometime in uh, early or mid-April. Um, and I'm just going to feel her udder really quick. There's nothing really going on, so she's getting sassy. But then you can also see, I want to point out the ear tags. And I was talking to Erin about tagging goats. But, um, so this is Miller Park Zoo, Natasha. This is their ID. This is a scrapies tag that uh, goats should have. If, if it's not a scrapies tag, it's some kind of like USDA approved um, form of ID. And this is, uh, so I got a transfer uh, from the Miller Park Zoo. Natasha's registered with the San Clemente Island Goat Breeders Association. And um, that's good to do. So she's she's also a tepper line goat, which is awesome. And she's gonna have me some tepper babies. And she's a very mild-mannered little lady. Look at that cute frosting. All right.